Dumpster dive action for you. I thought I'd start off with a super exciting vacuum cleaner card. How exciting is that? I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of electrical tester. Might have a little value to it. What do you think? doesn't look like it but this is the kind of stuff that can add up in a hurry little pieces of short steel oh. I wasn't very many of them I wouldn't mind like a half tote full of those though be like 200 pounds or so oh also let's see well i got the camera on i scored uh, a little swiffer handle and uh, a little thingamajiggy off a grill or a burner and uh turn the camera on. i didn't want to overload you with excitement i don't know how exciting that stuff can be when i find it
aboard a case of water. I don't know why someone threw that out. It's really not a whole lot that can be wrong with water. So I'll have that. It's a rare occasion. I'll show that on video. A stainless steel cup, some scrap oily. Typical, typical gibber jibberish. Yeah, not a bad piece of tin in there, but it's not worth a whole lot. A couple bicycle rims in there.
frame on that. That's not a bad bike. It's abandoned. It's got flat tires and a rusty chain. That's what I always look for in this situation. It's got some nice uh, knobby road tires on there. Hmm. Quick release tires. Not a bad bike. I've never heard of Senior Sun Tour. What does that say? Okay, what? What am I seeing there? It's got, got some nice suspension on the front there. Uh, KHS. That's a 15 inch frame. It's kind of a small frame. That'll make a nice bike for someone. Take a little pit stop here. I found this little gem. A little Hobby Lobby. But uh, I need to get a different shirt on. I'm not quite ready for the tank top yet. <laughs> There's one spot on my shoulder. I think it's starting to sizzle.
I'd almost like to just have that big piece that plastic on top is probably pretty tough probably take a lot of work to rip that off of there I don't think a scrapyard would take that they might but uh, that'd just be breaking
Well, it's not as good as it was before, but some nice pieces in there for sure. Uh, it's so much better working when the sun's not right up there. <laughs> Sheesh. Let's see here. That's the stuff I'm after right there. The good stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, aluminum breakage in there. This furry stuff doesn't come out of there. I'm not gonna mess with the breakage. Alrighty, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. Pick out some of this good stuff. Nice, nice, nice. There it is. The good stuff. It's a nice little grip. Let's see how many of those bottles I can break. That's a nice little piece of brass. Um. I'm not sure. I'll probably just take that to the scrapyard, but it might have some decent value on its own. It's got some nice, nice little graphics on there. Looks like it's actually got a hole in the bottom. I can't see through it though. Anyways, let's load it up. Okay, delete your comment. <laughs> I'm sure I got a comment here. Didn't say what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Well, I was gonna strap it up there, but I think it wants to ride down here. Was I seeing that right? I was seeing that right. That's a Husqvarna. Wow, I've never seen one of those before. Little dude. That's actually probably like a 250 or something. I thought it was like one of those uh, little 50cc Honda Groms. But that's actually a uh, rather expensive little machine, I do believe. box of picture frames behind me I snatched up there's someone there's a lot of people around here so I don't want to take too much time someone coming up behind me right now so let me go down here It's like the sun's going down and everyone's emerging from their <laughs> emerging from their dwellings. Uh, okay, run through this real quick. Nice little picture frames in here. I'll just throw them on the free tail store. But nice quality stuff. Those will disappear from the free tail store pretty quick. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Nice, tasteful looking stuff. I don't even think they've been used, some of them, obviously. Still got the store picture in there. And, uh, anyways, something along them lines. Hey, that's a neat one. A little stained glass window. I thought I had a new piece for my collection there for a second. It's not a window, it's just picture frame style, stained glass style. What's this one? This one looks like it's kind of neat. What's this one? Uh, like a pin.
skin cushion. <laughs> Anyways, pretty exciting stuff, I know. For those of you that don't know, this coax, you saw the magnet reacted to it. This one reacted to the magnet. It's a steel wire in the middle of that coaxial cable. And the scrapyards just don't want that stuff. Um, but <clears throat> there are some nice little brassy bits. Sometimes they'll be stainless steel on the ends of them. There's another piece of it in there, but we're running out of sunlight, so get down the road. I assume, I don't know for sure, but I think the the mills might have a hard time processing that wire with the steel cable in it, because there is a little bit of copper in it, but I think that steel wire fouls up the machines or something along them lines anyway. More worms. I'll use these on my other channel. Uh, those are actually a lot. Well, uh, they're pretty hot. They got hot in that sun. I can't believe I can feel the warmth in the soil. This uh, little styrofoam deal did pretty good. If it's been sitting there all day, anyways. 
But those worms, if I threw them over there, they, I don't think they would live, so. That's gonna be my next fish video on my other channel, What's Under Here. If uh, you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'll put the link to my other channel down there. It's uh, about critters and stuff. Lately I've been doing underwater fish videos and stuff. treasure trove going here. I'll get rid of these pictures later. I'm running out of time. I don't got my flashlight with me. So. All kinds of stuff in here. Got here. Uh oh, we could have some money here. Once upon a time, I think that was someone's little weed box. 
a little reefer reefer smoking box I think that's a little uh, bud grinder once upon a time I would snatch that stuff up I probably shouldn't have taken that pipe there's a bunch of seeds and stuff in here I probably shouldn't have taken that pipe now that I think about it I have to get pulled over with that in there <laughs> I'm just gonna take it to the scrapyard I might just throw it back in here though that's a nice little treasure tool. I tell you what, those video games are worth some money. I'll go through them later. I don't know. I didn't see any real uh, violent rated M stuff or anything, but check them out later. Just mainly want to get out of here. I hate for someone to come out here and say, hey, <laughs> put that back in the garbage. There's another tote here. You always want to check these totes. Dyson ball actually. Uh, it's probably clogged up so I threw it away. That's a like, pretty expensive little vacuum if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, pretty sure it's the same kind of days. Getting to that point where the GoPro is going to start struggling here in a minute. So this is, look at it, all the light bulbs are out of that. <laughs> it's kind of an odd sight. I'm going to take all the light bulbs out of here before I throw it away. <laughs> That may be the last little score. We'll see how we do here in the next five minutes. Doggy gate down in there. I'm not gonna mess with that right now.
my battery died there sorry about that it was getting dark anyways I'm a pooch <laughs> I'm kind of sleepy tired I guess what are all these kitty cats doing around right here the kitty cat kitty cat kitty cat <laughs> get them kitty cats <laughs> she's just playing uh, she's good at playing though she scares death out of me sometimes goodbye everybody it was nice to see you it was nice to see you get them Chris hope you enjoyed the show as always thanks for watching I almost forgot that part what do you think Seth? Oh, he's a pooch. <laughs>